What up, guys? Hey, so I want to talk real quick about ROI, return on investment, and why it's not that important. Um, I've been doing a ton of marketing work with guys lately, freaking swamped, and it's awesome. I'm excited about it. But uh, one of the main questions we get is like, what kind of ROI can I expect on postcards? What kind of ROI can I expect on Facebook ads or AdWords, right? And first off, it's a loaded question because if anyone ever tells you like an exact number, they're lying because they don't know. And, and for postcards and direct mail, yeah, we have like uh, an average of what people get on return. But here's why ROI is not as important as you think. It's not as important as you think because if all you're focused about is how much am I going to make off of this mailing? How much am I going to make off this month's AdWords? Like, of course you want to be thinking like, how much is this going to generate in revenue? But the problem is nobody's thinking long term, okay? And so rather than saying, man, how much am I going to make? Like, what, what, what are my profit margins going to be after I, you know, acquire this customer, right? Because it costs money to acquire customers. Uh, after you do the job, maybe a staff, you pay staff to go out and do the job. What is it going to cost? Like, what are you going to make at the end? And everybody's worried about what they're going to make at the end of the first time they service the customer. And you should be like that if your service is one time. But like my company, cleaning business, we service people multiple times a year, right? Uh, and even if it is once a year, then we service them every year for the most part. Uh, our return rate is probably around 50, 60%. And so you got to get in the, the long term thinking of, okay, yes, it, direct mail costs money. Yes, it, it costs money to acquire customers. But I'm not focused on how much am I making off this first time I service them. I'm focused on how long can I keep this person as a customer? What can I do to get them to repeat more often? What kind of experience can I create so when they use us, they never go to anybody else? And then when you service them time two, three, four, super profitable, right? And that's how you grow a business. You don't grow a business off servicing people one time. And the reason a lot of people's businesses are stuck is because they're not taking advantage of the customers that they serviced for two reasons. One, they don't recognize that there is a ton of money sitting in their customer base. And two, they might not have offered a very good experience or didn't have systems in place to make their business seem uh, really valuable to their customers and their customers didn't call back because they didn't leave an impact on them or they didn't follow up with them, right? And so get out of the short mindset of ROI. Now, of course, if you're doing marketing and it's not bringing you any type of business, don't do that. But before you quit, make sure you're giving it a good, honest chance. If you're sending out 100 postcards a month and you're saying, well, postcards don't work, well, you're retarded, okay? You just, you're not sending enough of them out and you're not probably doing it uh, often enough. And I bet you I could look at your postcard and tell you why it doesn't work, okay? And so don't focus so much on ROI. Focus on... How can I get how can I get new customers and what can I do to keep those people and what can I do to get them to use my services as often as possible and watch how fast your business grows.